started off as a serious, dramatic show, a war between two nations that turned into a cunny slice of life date episode, which I really enjoyed. Uh, the amount of coincidences are crazy. We learned about the lore of how there's like a founder and a twin sister, and she's the one that's known as the, 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 the witch, but then the founder's still alive and stuff like that. And then there's like a connection between like the swords and like how it behaved and how the founders bind releasing. I'm not sure if it was a sword specific or it was because the queen wasn't, the princess was in danger. I'm not sure, but hey, let's figure out today's reaction. Hello, Captain. Miss Miss is uh, way too cute. There's something important there. What happened? Is this a treat? Not can, but bottle drinks. Uh, is there a bigger importance lower here? Bottle drinks are very, very luxurious. Like what the princess gave us. And that's bougie. What are you studying? Hmm. Imperial Senate. And now we're dating her. You don't care about the reactor? Interesting, they don't care about the reactor. Criminal! For saving that pink hair girl. Nah, fuck this place. Why, why are we still here, bro? We should, we should, nah, these people suck. Hell no, we're not apprehending our new girlfriend. At 16. She's 17. Mm. We're skipping ladies? No, no, no. We're going to meet her in the neutral city? Captain, you coming? Miss Miss? I was half expecting her to be outside the window just talking like, hello. Oh, right. Cap Captain, so nice. Uh oh. Where's the Ojo Sama going? Oh, no, this is the date last night when he fell asleep. Bro just passed out on her titties. And then she just dropped him off in a cab and just sent him home. Damn, really? He was that tired. He just passed the fuck out. Sleeping race. Thanks for the cab. Sure, it's not like I like you or anything. Yeah. Cap. Dossier? What is that? Background search. Yeah, other than Master Crow, him and Iska? Because he's a criminal now. Save that pink girl. Sentenced to life. Yeah, in the first episode. Finally, she comes into the story. Rin too competent. Is Rin better than Alice? I don't know. Is, is the maid better than Alice? I... Rin is a really good character. I like her. The whole, like... She's just... Al dente only. Al dente, losers. The anchor you, bro. Mother? Do mom's drip? I think that is the same painting in the art museum. Yeah. 
art depicting the witch hunt. An imperial handkerchief. I think that whole scene was to kind of portray like, I don't, of course the empire is trash, but like, I think this side is also trash, right? Both think that like, nah, they're out to kill us. They're all demons. If they're not with us, they're our enemies no matter what, right? So then it's like, okay, what are we going to do? Do we like set up base in the neutral city and try to make the empire and the nebulous, you know, sovereignty try to understand? Because I don't think we're going to side with the empire or this place, right? Both Iska and Aris are under the same kind of oppression where the rulers can only see in absolute. So we got to like work with the neutral cities. She's still keeping it. Lin. Another coincidence to happen. We're going to. Oh, we're going to. And this time will be interesting because it's no longer a date, right? He is going in there with the mission to apprehend and she wants to see what's going on. And now, our true intents will show. Miss Miss and the maid, I hope they get along. They are linked. What? Oh. What is that? Extinct birds? Extinct I'd love to see who the leaders of these neutral cities are. <laughs> they just happen to know each other. Like, like, they just walked up to the fountain just in time. Just like, wow. Didn't even like need to wander around. Just like, boom. I've been waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. My captain. Miss Miss. Uh, the Ice of Calamity, which... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Chill, it's a neutral city. You can't be fighting here. Oh, we're outside a neutral city now. Is this like PvP zone?一年前に国家反逆罪で捕まった帝国兵。帝国に捕らわれていましたせ。君のことでしょ。おう。どうしてそんなことを。12歳か13歳で弱い精霊しか宿してない。無限の限度は私を捕らえる。No, <笑> Children. Oh. He's about to see the witch. Got it! Do we need the neutral city? <laughs> well, shit. The, you know, peace wasn't on the table, so I was gonna try to, like, kidnap you. Yeah, we're gonna take you hostage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to kidnap you on that day. Yeah. Oh, no, they probably be like, nah, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Oh, Damn, he doesn't care at all. Let's kidnap the mom then. Same for our side. Savages. Yeah. Yeah, off of like a couple dates? I mean, yeah, we did go on a couple dates. You sign, you serve under me. Cameraman. Cameraman, chill. Eritir Sisbel. I wonder if one of them is the pink hair girl. Who knows? But okay. Are we really gonna do this? We're gonna, we gonna abandon the captain? Oh. 
What is this danger? Crack in the sky! That's the founder! That's the founder! Astral Sword, Treacherous Blade of the Star, the, the Black Steel, right? So this is the founder. She has now been freed. The bind is completely gone. Thought it'd take a while for her to be freed. He knew the lore. Yeah, the final boss just showed up with just us here. Here we go! Damn! Everyone's powers are resonating. Mm-hmm. Now, the founder is definitely anti-empire. So if we don't defeat the founder, then it's GG. Can we get the founder to join us? Can there be like a cunning moment where she's gonna just like be with us? Who freed her? I don't... Because like last episode, they're talking about how you know, the sword... And like, you know, astral power is being in danger and resonating and that, that uh, slowly releases the bind. Miss me is dead. Oh, she just started shooting. Auto defenses. It's to react to the sword. Now we can fight together against her. This moya moya. Oh, this feeling. What are you talking about? Yes, I'm in love with you, but I, I can't because I'm a, I'm a royalty. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's just the sword. <laughs> How dare you interrupt the day that I'm gonna dump my boyfriend who's not even my boyfriend yet. I don't think she'll listen, man. Founder doesn't care. No, it's not like the Oh, Jesus. Maid! Rin! Okay, Rin Golem. Bro, use your sword. Help them. Rin's like almost dead now. It's gonna cool her down. Alright. I'll be fine. We got a sword. Adi sends Iska versus Founder incoming. All the swords are out. Dual wielding. Crossvale swords. Oh, crow is short for crossvale. Okay, apprentice, founder, and crow. They know each other. It's pretty powerful. This is an absurd amount of magic. Ooh, denounced! What are you then, a dictator? There we go, we're on the same page. Just love how they're so disrespectful to the founder. It's like, shut up! That's right. Dude, we're so in sync! We are 100% in sync just like when we're ordering the pasta, bro! Jesus. Mm. New form. Got wings. Wait, she can summon with ice? 
しまう大That is insane how, like, Aris can just freeze everything. Like, any type of magic, it just gets negated with just ice. And Iska just can cut through anything. <sighs> oh, hand holding! No. No. Oh, a special bond! Wait! What was that? That's gotta be really important! She's accepted him, he's accepted her! Ooh, peak animation! Magic incantation! I saw that. I saw that. I saw that one specific frame. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they, they included that. By the way, they didn't need to do it. That was a really fast animation, but the animators were like, nah, we are gonna include one frame of toes, okay? Founder toes will be shown, yup. Bound, they're actually getting a little upset. This fighting animation goes crazy, man. What? So the link between them, he can use astral ma magic through her because they touched the blue light. This is the same blue light, kind of, I'm not really sure, but like she, her ice bloom came from that hand. <laughs> Boom. How do you know? No, the founder's not dead. Episode three? We just sealed her again, I think. Anyone gonna catch her? Nope. Bop. Bye bye. Where's she going? I don't know. She's uh, done now, though. Uh... That's the show? No, that's not the show, right? Like, we still have, like, the Empire and the Sovereignty to, like, reason with, but, like, the main founder is just, like, not dead, but sealed away, just dropped under, who knows. Alice, <laughs> No, we just fought together. How could you say that? Peace. I hope Ren and Miss Miss is okay. They're gonna do this every episode. Every episode like, we're enemies. Okay, truth. But we're gonna be enemies next episode. And just repeat, repeat, repeat. When are they ever gonna accept themselves, bro? That's the episode of Last Crusade and like, we're done. We killed the founder. Well, we didn't kill the founder, but the founder is, you know, done with for now. Uh, interesting. Important things that happened today is, aside from the founder being like, re um, like broken the bind, right? It's the link between uh, Iska and Aris. They like touched hands and it glued the light glue when they kind of like accepted each other for a bit. Then the ice boom like came out of his hand. They're just perfect in sync right now together. They're pretty ridiculous to the point where they can even defeat the founder. But the main conflict's not over because it's about like empire and the nebulous like sovereignty and dealing with them. Like I don't think mom's gonna be okay with this, right? Like we're gonna be outcasted from both nations and I I'm assuming we're gonna have to like somehow work with the neutral cities and Maybe we just create our own nation of all peace. I'm not sure, but again, this is just episode three. We got a lot more. The second season's coming, so there's no way the main conflict's over, but pretty hype episode in terms of action, and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.